In times like today, it's easy to underestimate the strength of the human spirit. But when faced with a daunting challenge, ordinary people can overcome almost anything. That is a lesson many of us learned during the pandemic, including people like Alina, a Polish entrepreneur I met during my most recent travels to Europe, and whose story I'm sharing with you on this episode of World of Nuance. Along with her husband, Alina is the co-owner of Jolie, a French-inspired brasserie and cafe in Wrocław, Poland. The casual yet stylish restaurant officially opened its first of two locations in July of 2020. Jolie's original cafe is located just outside the heart of Wrocław's Old Market Square. It's close enough, but far enough from the city center to make it an attractive destination for locals. When we were opening, there were a lot of people that would tell me, okay, you're opening here, but who's going to come because people can't see your place. Mm -hmm. And I told them then that I'm opening not for those people that just would pass by and come in by chance. I want to open for those people that would search for this kind of place. They, they will find it and they will think they want to come back. And this was the idea. Alina and her husband began dreaming up plans to open a restaurant long before concepts like social distancing or quarantines entered our global consciousness. Unfortunately, their timing to transform their dreams into reality couldn't have been worse. When we started to renovate the place, when we rented the place, it was still a normal time in the world. And uh, after that, we've had the bad news. We thought that uh, the first lockdown is not going to be the first and the last one. But uh, the life is, as you see, unpredictable. Yeah. So um, we kind of had to survive if you wanted to have this place to keep it going. We did everything what we could to, to make it work. Poland, like the rest of the world, began closing its borders and restricting mass gatherings in March 2020. As businesses came to a standstill, Alina and her husband marched on with their plans to open their restaurant. When Jolie finally opened in the summer of 2020, it seemed that the worst of COVID was behind it. Cases weren't exponentially rising, which led to a more relaxed enforcement of previously restrictive policies. But a few months later in the fall, the pandemic reared its ugly head yet again, and Poland entered into another lockdown. Dlatego musimy przerwać rozprzestrzenianie się wirusa za wszelką cenę. Czyli skala pandemii, jak ona będzie wyglądać za dwa, trzy tygodnie, zależy od przestrzegania naszych obostrzeń, naszych rygorów, naszych zakazów i nakazów i zaleceń. After avoiding catastrophe early on, Jolie had no choice but to confront uncertainty head on. When the second lockdown started, we, nobody knew for how long it's going to last. And first of all, they told us it's going to take two weeks, maybe a month. Later on, they would like give dates which were... Uh, actually, they were not real because we were passing the Christmas time, then we were passing New Year and still we were closed. During the second lockdown, Alina and her husband found themselves on their own. From taking orders to food prep, every element of Jolie rested on their shoulders. They also didn't receive any help from the Polish government to keep themselves afloat. Due to public policy, a restaurant as new as theirs was unfortunately not eligible for public aid. In order to receive some financial help, uh, we had to show our uh, losses comparing to the past year, the previous year, but we were not open. In yeah. 2019, so uh, it was impossible. And that's why we had to do it by ourselves. During this time, business slowed to a tortoise-like pace. Another lockdown meant they couldn't offer in-person dining and had to rely mostly on takeaway instead. But for Jolie, takeout orders came few and far between because they were still the new kids on the block in Francois. But that lack of momentum didn't deter them from powering through. For the next seven and a half months, they stayed open around the clock. In fact, Alina only remembers being closed twice during that seven and a half month period. During Christmas Day 
and Easter Monday. It was a very hard time, but also I think that I remember it as a good time because there were many, um, there were people like try, who tried to support us. So um, they were coming despite of the fact that uh, you know the place is not working normally, just to support us, just to help, and just to give us the smile and to stay with us. And after this period, we become, became friends mm. you know, with them. So I think this was a big challenge for us, but we made it. The sense of community that Alina has managed to foster on Wrocław has been Jolie's greatest gift. She's made it her mission to make her restaurant a place where anyone can feel welcomed and at home. Both tourists and locals alike. For me, the biggest joy of this place is that I have people that come back I, that they like the place and that I can talk to and ask them how do they feel because I see that in Poland it's not very popular you know talking to each other if we are strangers I wanted always to change that to make people more open you know to, to be more joyful about spending time in the crowd not just by themselves but with the others when I met Alina Jolie had been open for a little more than two years to that point. Like all of us, Jolie faced its share of challenges and setbacks, but they've learned to adapt and persevere. Looking back on Jolie's journey, Alina feels a sense of pride and accomplishment, not just in the business, but in what it taught her about herself. Sometimes you would think how people were overcoming very hard times, you know, in the history of the world. Uh -huh. And uh, we kind of experienced uh, uh, things that are uh, hard, but doable, you know? It shows it that the uh, human nature is like very strong, and if we want to do something, we can do it. This is only our uh, own, you know, strength right. from inside. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. I am really enjoying telling these stories of people that I've met on the road. And if you like them, make sure to subscribe to the channel, make sure to hit the like button, and share the video with a friend, share it with anybody who you think will find the content valuable. Until next time, I'll see you on another episode of World of Nuance.